This terrain is made for animals that can hide and almost disappear into what looks like a beautiful canvas. This camouflage animal requires a different and effective tool and a good nose to help with Montana FWP research on this elusive animal. But we have an uncollared female back in this gulch here. Hopefully we can keep her treed long enough to dart her and get a collar on her. It's early morning for mountain lion monitoring biologist Ashley Hodge. Headquarters is a small bunkhouse in southwestern Montana. And today's assignment is to spread out the houndsmen in different cells or areas in the region in hopes of finding fresh mountain lion tracks in the snow. So we are, we have three crews out today. Everybody's searching their own area. Um, plus us, we're just kind of hovering nearby and then we're on standby if any of the other crews get a fresh track and if they do, we'll run over there to them and see what we catch. The exact definition of houndsman is a keeper of hounds and that name applies to man and woman. The game players for today are husband and wife duo Loray and Cody and veteran houndsman Dustin and Casey. Joining them is FWP area biologist, Jesse, And of course, you can't forget the hounds. How this process works is once the team spots a lion track crossing the road, they let loose the hounds. The dogs will track the cat and instinctively, the cat runs up the tree and resting on a branch, almost as if taking a cat nap. The houndsmen will leash the dogs and wait for Ashley to use a dart gun to tranquilize the cat, gather DNA, and call her the cat. But the most challenging thing in this whole process is, you guessed it, finding a fresh track. All right, we met up with one of the houndsmen and got a cat in a tree. Definitely gonna try and collar it and get some more data from this individual. But you never really know what you're getting into. So up here we got Cruz and Girl and Penny. All girl team out there? Uh, no, Cruz is a boy. Two ladies and a hound dog. <laughs> In 2019, FWP created a new strategy for monitoring and managing mountain lions in Montana. Prior to this, most research was based on harvest numbers. The new strategy still uses 25 years of research on understanding prey and mountain lions, but incorporates up-to-date science like DNA sampling and monitoring movements with collars. Um, that helps us understand all the cats that we have caught and how many of those are recaptures, which is really important for our modeling. And seeing what home range sizes we get out of that, where their activity centers are, um, and it really helps us narrow down and get a more credible population estimate from all these efforts. The cat runs down the tree and lays down within 400 yards once the sedatives take effect. Really, we have next to no information on the population other than trying to read the tea leaves of the harvest data, which is only so good. So being able to actually get a population estimate, huge resource for us as area bios to try to set coordinates. After gathering the necessary DNA samples and collaring the cat, the team quietly waits for the cat to safely wake up from the sedative and return to the forest with the power and grace that makes mountain lions such a wonderful part of Montana's natural landscape. For more information on mountain lions monitoring and management, visit fwp.nt.gov. And remember, the outside is in us all.